Well, we've got a new blade happening here. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Look, oh, whoa, see, whoa, oh, see, oh, I don't want to try to get through there to catch the bus, but uh, I did bring my swimming trunks. Um, I don't know, maybe about me a build uh, an arc, <laughs> maybe a canoe to try to get through here. Uh, so apparently I need to catch the bus around here. Uh, around inside of the station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
city near the bus stops are uh, clear as this because it's a challenge trying to get onto a bus when you got a snowbank and you got a pool of water and you got to walk onto the road and then the bus driver doesn't put down the ramp for you to get onto the bus. The last bus that I was on yesterday, they pulled up to a snowbank and uh, people had to climb over uh, to the snowbank to get off. To get off. Um, that's got to be changed. Uh, and uh, definitely accessibility is number one key uh, for mobility to get around. If you like Brussels sprouts, here's a big bin. Not much turkey left here either. Wow, I wonder what happened to all this supply. I guess it's just going down really quickly. I, I know that it said there was a shortage. And then, uh, of course, look over here. There's hardly anything left here either, right? It's just really depleting down here. No, just right. kind of got everything stopped. I should have realized that. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so they all got stuck in Vancouver, did they? Yeah, some stuff is coming in, but uh, I don't know. Uh, well, definitely uh, a lot of uh, food shortages for sure. Well, we got a depletion of uh, food uh, due to the snowstorm and it's stuck in Vancouver right now. But as you can see, uh, what the product is here is here. Uh, eventually the other stuff will get stocked up, but unfortunately you got to take what's here, right? I mean, um, yeah. Mother Nature has a mind of her own. Or jelly cranberries. Jelly. Well, ew. No, uh, I don't. So we always get these ones. Okay, get the real. Get that one. Okay, how do you get some eggnog here? Hooray! Oh, oh no! Uh oh! No, no, no eggnog! No. No eggnog. Oh no! What do we do? Oh. Okay. I guess we can't do it. On my search for eggnog, but all I can find is oak nog. Darn it, I'll have to keep looking. On my journey to look for eggnog, and I finally found it. Light eggnog or regular eggnog? I go with the regular. It's on sale. Well, that concludes the shopping. So uh, that uh, completes the Breaking with Brent segment for today. And I want to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and season's greetings. However you celebrate the season, all the best. And we'll see you in 2023. And let's just be hopeful that we're going to have a better year because 2022, let's just get rid of it already. It's 8 degrees out and the snow is finally melting away. Rum and eggnog. Gotta have the eggnog, gotta have the rum. That's uh, the way to make uh, Christmas Eve more special. And we got the upside guys on here too at the same time. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, that's a good rum and eggnog. <laughs>